Hey, good evening from Atlanta, Georgia. Here has been a fantastic day today. I'm Jerry up church. I wanted to get a note out to you. Our service at church a couple of weeks ago was about churning. And when the pastor said he was going to talk about churning, he said, I double dog dare you to keep churning. So, you know, from my perspective, you know, at church is not where you want to talk about churning. Church is where you want to talk about the peace that passes all understanding, you know, to be at rest with your situation. Be patient and you will finally win. Uh, for a soft tongue breaks a hard bone. You know, all these things that uh, relate to peace and, and happiness and joy and rest and relaxation. So I said, okay, Pastor, where are we going with this churning issue? And basically he said, get a definition of churning. He says, churning is the act of agitating cream into butter. Agitating cream into butter. And I've done this before. Many of you probably haven't. You're too young to, do, to know about that. But you take the cream off of the milk when you milk the cow. The cream will rise to the top. And maybe we've always heard that statement. All the, the cream always rises to the top. And it does. You scoop off the cream. You put it into the churn. And then you churn it. Just keep agitating it until it gets hard and you make butter out of it. So the butter is the good part of the churning. So we said, okay, where are we going with this? He's, and the pastor says, if you don't churn, you don't get the butter. If you don't churn, you don't get the butter. And the butter is the good part. So immediately I said, okay, I can relate this to business. We've got to keep churning in our business to bring the prosperity to our business. Keep churning because churning makes the butter and butter makes life better. Oh, I'm going to say that again. Keep churning because the churning makes the butter and butter makes the life better. And there's no butter without the churning. So from a business perspective, you know, you say uh, churning is the consistency behind the goodness that comes from that churning. Churning is the consistency that brings the good part or the butter behind the things that you're doing. So there are basically three things that he pointed out to us in, in the message. And number one, he says, sometimes you have to do things you don't like to do to get the things you want. So maybe you don't like sitting there churning for 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it takes. I don't remember how long it takes to churn cream into butter. But the consistent action there of sitting there being patient and churning away causes that butter to be produced. So even though you may not like to sit there and churn, you may not like to get in there and blog, you may not like to get in there and um, make new friends on Facebook, you may not like sitting there and trying to start up new conversations with strangers, but keep churning, do it anyway. Number two is he said, don't forget why you're churning. Don't forget the why as to why you're churning. So basically what he was saying there, he says, continue to talk to yourself about your dreams. Why are you doing this? Continue to know where you're going, what you're trying to accomplish, what, what good is coming out of the churning effort that you're doing. And as we relate that to our business, we want to also relate it to the fact that we are working our business to make our dreams come true, whether it's travel, whether it's money, whether it's time at home with our family, whether it's uh, time with friends and relatives, whatever that why is as to why you're doing your business, keep that in mind and keep talking to yourself over and over and over as to why you're doing what you're doing. And number three, he says, don't get weary in well-doing. Don't get weary with your churning because being consistent with your churning 
finally produces the result that we want in our life. So be consistent. Number one, sometimes you got to do things you don't want to do. Keep doing it anyway. Number two, never forget why you're doing the journey. And number three is be persistent. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep doing your journey so that you can bring about the things that you want to bring about in your life and your business. Hey, all that being said, read the blog. I've got a link to the blog in the, um, in the uh, YouTube. It's right below in the description in the YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, it'll be in the link above. Just click on there, read my blog, and uh, give me some feedback. Tell me what you think. Hey, love you. Be good.